to get that rub going around his body, not his shoulders. This is a, a shoulder heavy workout, if you will, with the snatches, and you don't want to wear those out too fast. So use those little muscles in your wrist to get the to get that rope going. Then you've got to go unbroken on the snatch. If you set that bar down, you're going to get passed up. So watch Pepper. He's going to go 15 unbroken and get right back to that rope as quickly as he can. This is sprint. This is gas pedal smashed all the way to the floor and just open throttle and go. Nikki's got a closer look. Nikki, what are you seeing right now? You know, I'm seeing a lot of the guys down here doing some incredibly fast barbell cycling. That means they're not coming back down to their hip crease from the top. They're coming straight back down to the floor so that they can cycle, get another rep as quickly as possible. We are one minute and change into the 10-minute cap on this one where you can already see our competitors moving the barbell forward, and then they'll run back to get right back on those double unders. Again, 115 into this so far. Taking a look at Dallin Pepper right now, who's sitting at second place. And we've also got Tyler Anderson in on the right. He is our overall leader in the boys 14-15 DNA division here at the 2017 Reebok CrossFit Games. And these guys are doing exactly what they need to do to stay on top of that leaderboard. I like to see the hustle in between transitions. Because this is such a fast one, we've already mentioned, hey, if you set the bar down in the middle of a, fifth, a set of 15, you're going to fall behind. But I failed to mention how fast your transitions need to be, and they're showing exactly what you need to do. And Pepper Three minutes and 45 seconds gone down. And then Mitchell is moving forward. He'll race his way back to the ropes. And it looks like he is aware of his lead, and he'll get right back at it. Shaking those shoulders out. Like I said, at this point, it's just like, hey, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now I can go fast because the pain's going to end soon, as soon as I'm finished with that 15th snatch. We did see a little stumble from here. Here's Anderson, our overall leader in the division. Ten-minute cap. Back to Dallin Pepper. And Pepper's doing what he needs to do to pull ahead and regain that lead in the overall race. He's staying ahead of Tyler Anderson. That's super important for his race. That's Amir Fami who came into this morning third overall. Four minutes and 30 seconds. And Reese Mitchell is making his way back out to the bar. Fami really smooth on those double unders. Fami will come up as well. And he could make a race out of this thing. We're coming right down. Several guys going rep for rep here with this final set of 15 snatches. Mitchell getting down to his final reps. At the five minute mark. There is Mitchell. He'll come over the bar. Oh, gets a and no he rep. stumbles no rep. Oh! And then Pepper comes in to take it at about 5'10. Followed by Mitchell. That no rep cost him the lead. Pepper snuck in right ahead of him, just barely. But man, Pepper came up big when he needed to. An unbelievable finish. Then you see Fami come in at about 525 unofficially. But that just shows you how a no rep can change everything in the standings now. Now, Ted, this is bad. We see Tyler Anderson. He's in the gray short, blue shirt kind of the middle of your screen. This is bad for him because a lot of guys came in ahead of him. And I said blue shorts, he actually had purple shorts on, sorry. And Anderson just come in at about 5.45 there. Oh, wow, chaos there at the finish. What did you see about the rep that looked like a no rep, Justin? You know, it looked like he stepped outside that box. It was either that, it happened so fast it was hard to catch. It was either he stepped outside that box or he didn't come to full height with uh, standing up straight with the bar. There's Martin. Came in today, fourth on the leaderboard. Ten minute cap here. Team boys, 14 15 division, double under snatch, 2017 Reebok CrossFit Games. Martin will come in unofficially at 623. Yeah, all these guys are going to finish well under that 10 minute time cap. We'll see Hickey come in at about 6.36. And there's Pepper, who looked like he had second place no matter what, and then he came in to win. He really did. He didn't get rattled when he saw that Mitchell was ahead of him on that last round. He just put his head down and just got those double unders done and then attacked those snatches with a vengeance. 
Now we still do have Martinez out there. Cole Martinez, seventh on the leaderboard coming into this today. And Navad Pellin finishing up now. They're coming out officially 7-14. Martinez looks like he's in his final reps now. And we still have one more athlete there in the back in Urbanski who's still working on the double unders. Yeah. Cole's best event was the bar fight event. He placed third in that event. Martinez will jog it on in at unofficially 740. And then we've got one more competitor in Urbanski. And he'll see the crowd around him come to cheer him on. Just over two minutes remaining. Team boys, 14-15 division, double under snatch, 2017 Reebok CrossFit Games. Urbanski came into this one 19th on the leaderboard this morning. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's get up. Let's go. On his final reps. Let's go, three more. Let's go, three more. Let's go. That wraps it up for Urbanski. He'll come in at about 826. And so now we see all these athletes getting in with 90 seconds to spare. What is your overall assessment of this one as we see Pepper, the champion of the event, give a bump to his fellow competitors? But Pepper and Mitchell were moving. Oh, yeah, they were moving fast. They started fast and they finished fast. And I like to see that because they, they really did. They stuck to our keys to winning, right? They went unbroken on the snatches. Uh, you know, it was just that little bobble. Uh, it was Mitchell who was leading the event. Basically, at the end of the first round, he led all the way till the final, and he got that no rep, and it looked like he just didn't quite stand. Oh, yeah, see, his knees were still bent. You can see his knees were still bent on that last rep. That's why he got the no rep. He's got to come to full extension. Man, just like an extra half a second to stand up and lock those knees out and he'd have